Many moons ago, I used to live on the ranch, but I did not live in the teepee. I lived in a house, and that house had a telephone. And one day I got a call from my cousin to come visit him in that big downtown. And I was amazed at everything I saw. And then I lived with him for about three years. And I saw TV and movies and internet and stuff. And I used to talk about them. Then he told me to make a block. And this is my block, the TV talk with the Tonka Tim. Did you know that a long time ago, our people used to do drugs, but only the medicine man used to do drugs. But he would do like marijuana, but he would only do it once a year. And that was only to help guide the village or the people into what they should be doing. And did you know that if somebody was caught doing drugs, they stole the drugs from the medicine man that they were taken outside the village and the people, they would throw rocks at them. They would stone them to death. And that's where the expression came from. Because in the modern day society, when the youth became more rebellious and they started to do things that were against tradition, they would take the marijuana and they would smoke it and they would challenge each other and they would say, let's go get stoned. And my cousin was thinking that maybe that um, all the books about native people, they don't seem to be written by native people. They seem to be written by white men. But we did more research and we found that all the white men who read all these books, they're like that uh, gray owl. They are white people who have a big heart for the native people. But we were also thinking that if more native were out there writing native books, about native things, then we wouldn't have to complain about all these gray owls. Anyway, that's all we wanted to say. Um, we found it very interesting about uh, the, the native shaman and the native medicine men doing marijuana. It may have been around way back then, but it wasn't abused like it is today. People abuse it today because just like alcohol, they don't like their lives and they don't like what's happening around them and they have a hard time dealing with it. So the best way to deal with it is to just run away from it all. And the easiest way to run away is to do drugs and forget about it. But that's not always the best way to run your life because you're just escaping and you're not dealing with anything. And when you become unstoned again, then you just have to deal with reality all over again. So the best thing to do is to be a brave and to just face the challenges that this world has to provide. And um, just do it. It makes you stronger. It makes all of us stronger. And it makes us a prouder people. Okay, thank you once again for tuning in to TP Talk with the Tonka Tim. Talk to you next time. May the great creator bless you for taking the time to watch TP Talk with the Tonka Tim. Thank you.